All right, last fill in the blank. This is an NBA fill in the blank. Mm. Blank is the best off-season addition by any team. I've been sitting on this one for a little bit. I've had a thought about it. I know there's still some guys that could move here within the next few weeks before training sure. camp starts. Sure, sure. So it could change. But I'm going to go with the Los Angeles Lakers getting Pat Beverly. Oh, wow. But I'm doing it with this. Okay. This is either going to be the best thing ever or the worst thing ever. And then for all of us who are not Laker fans, also the best thing ever. Because <laughs> – Pat Bev is definitely one of those guys that you hate him if he's not on your team. Absolutely. But if he's on your team and he's a dog for you, he Love fights yeah. and he gets other players on the team to fight that hard too. And I think that's what that Lakers team needed. Definitely. So I'm excited to see if he can bring that mentality to these guys. Now the problem is, if they don't get on his level, it's going to be a scene. Yeah. <laughs> but if they do... <laughs> They're, they're a finals contender. Like, yeah. they have a lot of good names, a lot of guys that can fill it up. If they're healthy, they've got, you know, I know LeBron's late in the long in the tooth. Yeah. But he's still a great player. Anthony Davis, if he's healthy, is a great player. Mm -hmm. Russell Westbrook's a walking triple double. Mm -hmm. And then you've got one of the be best defenders in the game, and yeah. Pat Bev. I, and they didn't really have to give up that much to get them either, so it's a pretty good steal for the Lakers, who couldn't add or do much this offseason, but this was one thing they can do. And I, I love the move. Yeah. It's, it, they're they're I, shoving I all them. their chips in and saying, yeah. this is either going to work or we're going home. <laughs> well, I, it, it's interesting you bring up that move because who did they trade to get that? Stanley Johnson and a guy that Magic Twitter, Magic Community was in an uproar about last year, Taylor Horton Tucker. Mm-hmm and trying to maybe trade Terrence Ross to get THT. And, right. oh, man, he had that one crazy preseason game, and this guy could be amazing. Mm. He was a non-factor last year. Sure. It just shows you that preseason Chet Holmgren doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Right, buddy? I feel like he was probably hurt, but I, I don't know. I just think – I'm not sure if he was supposed to be really good or not, but for a while they wouldn't move him at all. He was right. almost no, like an untradeable piece. This is a piece, yeah. And then this is what they trade? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure, right. yeah. He probably could have done less, but all right. All right, so – what do you, Well, who do you think? All right, I'm torn. I'm torn between two. Okay. So – Just throw them both out there. I'm, I'm going to go – I'm going to go – so first I'm going to say the Celtics and Malcolm Brogdon. And I know you're going to hate it. I know you're going to hate it. But look, they get Malcolm Brogdon. Right now this isn't hate. This is confused. Well, you shouldn't but be But I'm confused. here listening. I'm you should waiting, not be confused. This is a guy for that you can to convince get you, me otherwise. This is a guy that can get you 20 points per game, potentially. He's a great scorer, great ball handler, really patient, really steady guy, great shooter from beyond the arc. Yeah. yeah. And they give up Daniel Thice who was barely rotational for them. Aaron Neesmith, who just hasn't popped. He was Cole Anthony's year, selected right sure, before Cole sure. Anthony. Yep. Malik Fitz, Juwan Morgan, Nick Stauskas, and a 2023 first-round pick. So essentially they gave up a 2023 first-round pick, which for the Celtics is not going to be much of anything. Late first-round pick. Who knows what you can get there. So honestly, that's, that's what I would go with. The other thing that I would go with, that's kind of flown under the radar because it happened way long ago. I would say the Trailblazers getting Jeremy Grant. Okay, yeah, that's I mean, a good he, one. He's kind of like an all-star-ish e right. type of cusp. player. Yeah, yeah, cusp player. And you know they just they gave up one first-round pick and two second-round picks. Yeah. And the first-round pick they gave up is the Milwaukee Bucks one that they had. Right, right. So that's no, again that a, a very move, yeah. low first-round pick and a couple seconds for that's a, a guy one. that you can plug in next to Damian Lillard and provide some scoring punch. I, I think that was a really nice and quiet move early. Before, That's a good call. That's before good Rudy call. Gobert like blew up the whole freaking trade market. Yeah, and in a way that doesn't seem correct to me. Right? I mean, that's what's crazy about this offseason. We had guys like Jeremy Grant going for one late first-round pick in right. a couple seconds. We have DeJounte Murray. Who I'd rather we, have Jeremy Grant than Rudy Gobert. Yeah, I mean, like for you know, if I'm looking at a franchise for the next five years, maybe well, not, yeah, maybe not next younger, year, yeah, but sure. like, right, I'm building a franchise here. What? Even even Dejounte Murray going to the Hawks, I, they gave up two first round picks, a pick swap. Oh, they gave up three first round picks and a pick swap. That's, that's way too much. No, but those are crappy picks, though. I know, but still, that's a lot. Yeah, you I guess get, that you is can more. get good players at the end of the first round. Yeah, or turn them around to other good stuff, as we're seeing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
But uh, yeah, I think Malcolm Brogdon is is he's a nice player, but I don't think he makes the Celtics that much better. All right, so then but, my film but, blank is Jeremy Grant. Okay, but but you're right for yeah. for the players that, the things they gave away. They gave up nothing. For what them. the hell? Right. Why not? Exactly. It's a good deal. Yes, it's a good deal. Yes. But the blank says best offseason edition. <laughs> I'll go with Jeremy Not the best Grant. deal. Jeremy but yeah, Grant. But Jeremy Grant is Jeremy nice. Grant. I like that. I'll put my stamp of approval on it. Give me, give me the gavel. Okay. <laughs>